Hey, welcome to part five. Time to jump on some GWT stuff. So in the last episode, we did the lo uh, local logging. So we are able to sign up. So for right now, what we are able to do is if we go to the sign up, we can uh, create a, a user. So I'm going to create a user right there. So I create my user. And now with this thing here, what I can do is I can now be able to log. So now I'm able to log. So this is what we are able to do right now. Now time to do some GWT uh, authentication. So for today, what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna create a secret password for the GWT. We're gonna add the password GWT and create the strategy like we did on, uh, with the last one. After that, we're gonna uh, do the, we're gonna add the JSON library, JSON web token library. So this library, it's uh, the, one, uh, the one we need for reading uh, the GWT uh, script. And finally, uh, we need to send less stuff to the application. Because right now, one of the problem we have it's uh, we send everything. So as you know, right now, uh, when we send uh, stuff from uh, to the front end, this is what we send. So I mean, it's it's not what we want. Why an application will send the password and thing like that to the front end? The front end don't need this stuff. All the uh, secret stuff need to stay in the back end. So time to jump on it. So first thing, I know maybe some of you don't know what is GWT. So if you go to this website, gwt.io, they're gonna give you a good introduction about this. So what they have, it's they show you like, what is a GWT. So this is what looks like the final uh, JSON web token. So as you can see, the first thing we have here in red is the headers. So it's the algorithm. The second thing is the payload. So here is the user data you have, right there. You see, here, when I decrypt this thing, I get a sub, so like this ID, the name, so John Do, and the admin, so it's an admin true. So this is what you send to the front end. Why you send that to the front end? Because the front end now gonna be able to, uh, to uh, take uh, this GWT with him and Finally, you're gonna uh, have it for um, for uh, on every request. So now on every request, you're gonna make a new application. You're gonna need to add the GWT in the headers. If you work with the web, a good way to make uh, it available is use local storage and take it and make it on every request you're gonna make. That's gonna be a really easy. If you use React Native like I do on my other tutorial, we use async storage. So. Time to jump the code. First thing we need to do, we need to create a password. So, because as you can see, we need to have a password. So the password was secret. So, like as you can see, like I have an invalid signature if I change the password. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this inside my constant. So inside my constant, I'm gonna create now another uh, props called GWT secret. So I add this thing in dev config because when I'm gonna jump on my prod, I want maybe to have a better stuff because now I'm gonna have just, this is a secret. You see how secret is that? <laughs> it's not a lot. So now after that, we need to install two library. So open a terminal and add JSON web token and passport GWT. Now, what we do need to do? Go inside our service. We're gonna add the service of the GWT. So at the top, we're gonna import strategy as GWT strategy. And we're gonna import to extract GWT from passport GWT. After that, we need the constant because we're gonna need to use the secret. So config, constant, perfect, we are set up. So here, here that's gonna be all the local strategy. After that, I'm gonna just create another one called GWT strategy. Perfect. We're gonna create again some option. So finally, sorry, I'm gonna just take this thing up and I'm gonna just make it here. So we know it's all about GWT uh, local strategy here at the top. 
Cons GWT OPTS for option. I'm gonna say GWT from request. Now I'm gonna say extract from all headers, so authorization headers, and I'm gonna call my header authorization. This is a so this is where the GWT gonna take uh, the JSON with token finally. So when you're gonna log, this is where Passport gonna take the token coming from the front end. After that here, secret or key. We're gonna add the constant GWT secret. That's it. So the secret we want for the, uh, the GWT gonna be that. After that, const GWT strategy equal new GWT strategy. So new strategy, so here that's gonna be GWT option. And now I'm gonna add an async uh, callback right there. The payload and the done. Payload gonna be the result of the GWT finally. So if we jump back to where we are in the Chrome, payload is this thing here, it's the data coming from the GWT. So now what we can do with that is I'm gonna add a try catch. Again, like always, I'm gonna do my read oh, my error first. So return done e and false. So my error and I have no user. After that, I do const user equal await user that find by id. Why here did I did find one? And here I do find by id. It's because the payload. The only thing I'm gonna add inside my GWT gonna be the user ID. So that's gonna be all we're gonna know which user have it. Think about this, the ID, it's, a, it's unique. So this is just a way to figure out which user. So now here, the only thing we need to do, it's pillow that underscore ID. If I have no user, here I'm gonna return done with no error, but false, because I have no user. After that, the only thing we need to do for final this stuff, finish this stuff, it's return dull, uh, done with null and the user. So here, if we have a user and we find it from the GWT, we're gonna send no error in the user, that's it. After that, passport gonna want to use the GWT strategy. Good, export, cons out GWT, equal passport that authenticate GWT session false. So here we're gonna we just create a new authentication middleware. Perfect, this is what we want. So now how can we test this stuff? It's gonna be a, a really easy. What we can do is if we jump inside the module, so I'm gonna just add a way to have a test. So I'm gonna import from my out service, I'm gonna import my out GWT. After that here, I'm gonna create another route, just for fun. Slash hello, gonna be the name of the route, gonna be a get method. I'm gonna put the out GWT as a middleware. I'm gonna do rec and my res, like, like always. And here I'm gonna res that send, this is this is a private route. Uh, yeah. That's it. Now I'm gonna jump on Postman. I'm gonna open a new uh, terminal. I'm gonna go to uh, my local host. No HTTP, uh, no uh, API v1, just hello, that's it. I'm gonna send my uh, request. Unitarize. What happening? My add no GWT. Like I say, we want we need the GWT as here. So I'm gonna say authorization. Don't worry, we put lowercase but by uh, passport is smart, smart enough to find it here. Here I'm gonna put something like that. No, it's not working. Passport GWT, check if the 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 the, the GWT it's a real one. And if it's don't give him a user, that means it's not one your application is given. 
So, I mean, this is a really good way to make authentication now. Yes, so now the question is, how can we add a GWT finally? Because right now, we, <laughs> we have no way. So time to join the user model. Here at the top, I'm going to import the GWT from the JSON Web Token library we just installed. After that, I'm going to import my constant object coming from the um, config folder and constant because I need, again, the secret. Think about this. A GWT take a secret to crypt himself. And after that, with this secret, I can decrypt and get the value of the user. Here, what I'm going to do, it's, it's a good case, again, to add inside the methods here. So inside the methods of the user, I'm going to create a create token method. This thing take no argument, this function. But it's going to return a GWT that sign. So this is all you need to uh, create a GWT. So I'm going to open the bracket, uh, uh, the, the print essay. I'm going to put the create bracket because it take an object. The first thing you take, it's the payload. So what you want to send in the uh, GWT. So I'm going to say underscore ID, and I'm going to say this, that underscore ID. Remember, this means the user. MongoDB use the uh, underscore ID. That's why I'm still using underscore ID. The second argument after the object is the secret. So this is GWT secret. And did I did constant? No, I make a typo. Perfect. Now it's working. But this script token need to be toggled. When do I'm going to toggle it? So that's why we're going to do two things in one. So I'm going to show you a better way to make it. So what I'm going to show you, it's a way to just go inside your user uh, route, uh, controller, sorry, and say when we log in, we're going to say rec that user dot create token. So right here, I can do something like that. If I do this, what I'm going to get when I log in, it's only the GWT. You can see, now I have the GWT. So this is how that looks. It's a really pain to read that. I mean, it's, uh, that's why it's really hard, uh, I mean, to, to make bad stuff with that. But this is not what we want to send. We don't want just to send a GWT. We want to send something else. Plus, Passport GWT need to have a GWT uh, in uppercase in front of this. So what are we going to do? You're going to see how easy is that. Here I'm going to delete that. I'm going to still use that. Here, as you can see, we send that inside a JSON object. By default, Mongoose have a method called to JSON, who its toggle when he say, uh, they, they see you send uh, the document from, uh, uh, to a JSON object, but you can override that stuff. How we do this? And inside the methods, again, I'm going to say here to JSON and uppercase. By doing this, I'm going to return now an object. So the thing about this, this is now what you return when you send an, uh, uh, the JSON. I want to have the ID in the front end. Why? Because I need that maybe to see if this user do like I mean for doing stuff in the with React and Redux or Angular, like whatever you want to use. After that, maybe I'm gonna want the username. So this that username. Maybe for saying like welcome Emmanuel or something like that. And after that, I'm gonna send the token. I'm gonna use the backtip ES6 feature. I'm going to put GWT in from, like I told you. And after that, square, uh, dollar sign, square, uh, curly bracket. And I'm going to say this. So that create token. So you see now, I have the ID, the username, and the token. This is what I'm going to send. The this that create token is this thing here. So now, if everything works, now if I log, I got three things, ID, username, and token. You see? Oh, maybe I want to send the email. This is the email example. You just go there and you change it. So now you, do, you go there, send, 
boom, I have the email. So this is an awesome way to make security in your app. You don't need to do nothing more. You don't need to create another function to make it. With this way, you're gonna love it. And the thing is, you can use it for any kind of document in your app. So you, it's not just about user. You're gonna see it when we're gonna add the, the, the blog post. Okay, now do the GWT work. I'm gonna go there, no GWT. I have one, but it's bad, perfect. You know, right, this is what we, what we want. I'm gonna copy paste this value. I'm gonna go there and now I'm gonna replace this thing with the value. And now, time to see if that's gonna work. This is a private route. That's it. That's working. This is what we want. So we just finalize the authentication part of the application for now. Don't worry, we're gonna manage all the other stuff and everything. So in the next episode, we're gonna do other stuff like the post, change the error stuff, and we're gonna return back to the user when we're gonna want the user to be able to favorite a post, follow another user, and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I always, I'm gonna push um, all this code to my repo. And again, with the repo, it's really easy for you to uh, just see where I am at the point of the application. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this series. Let me know in the comment if you like that. And uh, please subscribe if you didn't, so you can receive notification when I add a new video. And uh, so I hope you enjoy. Have a good night. Bye.